Here's a hearty lamb and pumpkin salad, fantastic for the cooler days. So I'm going to be using some lamb rump. I love lamb rump, very easy to cook. This one's about 450 to 500 grams and you can see it's got a little bit of that fat on it. That fat is going to keep it super tender. So I'm going to start by oiling it and adding a good pinch of salt. I am going to cook this with a gorgeous spice rub, a Moroccan spice rub called Raz Helanut. But before I add that, I wanna fry this off to get some color. So you wanna use a pan that not only goes on the hob, but it also goes into the oven. So I'm gonna be using a three piece set here. This is a 24 centimeter pan. I've also got a 28 centimeter pan here that also goes into the oven and I'll be using that for our pumpkin. So I'm just gonna heat up that pan. We don't want it to be too hot at the start because I want to render down the fat on this lamb and we want to go fat side down so it won't sizzle straight away the heat will slowly come up and then we'll start to hear that sizzle and that fat will render away now while that's cooking let's get on to our gorgeous veggies so a combination of pumpkin and onion now I want to leave the onion quite chunky so we're just going to cut these into quarters just red onion and we'll pop that into one bowl and you can see with the pumpkin, I'm using butternut pumpkin and I'm leaving the skin on. Again, a good glug of olive oil, a bit of salt, and just give everything a toss so there's a thin film of olive oil coating everything. And then that can go into our large pan. You want a large pan for this so it's not overlapping at all. And that's ready to go into the oven. So we'll just put that to the side for now while we get our spice olive oil mixture ready to go. Now, Raz El Anut you can get from most of your supermarkets now. If not, you can make it yourself. It's just a combination of turmeric, ground ginger, there's cayenne pepper in there, sometimes there's clove. It's a spice mix from North Africa. So there are so many different spices and so many ways of making it depending on what you like. I love the smell of it. I'll also add a small pinch of salt and then some olive oil. So what I'm making here is almost like a bit of a paste that I can rub over our lamb. Stir that through and it'll look like it's too dry, but just keep mixing it and you'll see it come together. And that's what we're after. All right, let's have a look at the lamb. Oh, see that gorgeous fat there? It's crispy now, that's what we're after. I'll turn the heat off. And this is the stage where you can add this little paste. If I added this beforehand, it would burn, but now we're adding it just before we pop it in the oven and it won't burn at all. It will just flavour this meat so well. So I'll just turn the meat over to the other side. Again, just getting all of that yummy spice rub over the meat. We'll turn it over. The best thing about this recipe is the lamb and the pumpkin go into the oven at the same time. I'm going to cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes or until that lamb is about medium and just tender. Alright, the lamb's out of the oven. I've allowed it to rest and the vegetables look how caramelised and perfect they look. So let's bring this whole salad together. In a large bowl, I'm going to add some honey. This is for the dressing. And I'm not going to do this in an individual bowl, just put it in one and we'll toss everything together. So honey, along with some caramelised balsamic dressing, a little drizzle of that. And we'll start stirring that together. And I need some extra zing. So lemon will do that job. That juice of half a lemon, depending on how juicy they are. Good squeeze in there. And to bring the whole thing together, some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, you want about three tablespoons of dressing all up. So I'm quite happy with that. Next, we'll grab our vegetables that have been roasted and I'm gonna place them straight into our dressing. And just with the spoon, I'm gonna to toss them. Now, they're slightly warm, which is the perfect way to serve this salad. So by adding them to the dressing now and just letting it sit for a moment, those vegetables are going to absorb that beautiful dressing. So onto the side, nice sharp knife. I'm gonna leave that fat on it and we'll just slice it. 
because this has been resting for a while, the juices aren't going to go everywhere. All of those juices have calmed down and gone straight back into the meat, leaving it super juicy. And look at that. See, it's pink from the top all the way down. And we've got that gorgeous crust. It smells so good. So I want to cut these into medallions that are not too thick. So we want them to be about that one to two centimetres. This meat is so tender. Oh, look at that. And one lamb rump is enough for two people. So it's going to feed quite a lot. To plate this up, I'm going to use some hummus, but you could also use some labne or some tzatziki. Just take that off and a spoonful of this hummus onto the plate. Just spread that out. That's going to be the little bed for our gorgeous lamb. We'll place a few medallions on there. I want to really show off how perfectly cooked it is. And then our salad, the last few ingredients to add to this. I found some watercress this morning at the market, so I'm going to add that. It's so fresh. It's so peppery. It's fantastic with pumpkin and lamb. You could also use rocket or spinach. Up to you. And please leave this to the last minute because it wilts really quickly. Also, some toasted pine nuts a good amount into our bowl. So just a gentle toss just to mix everything together. Look at those colours. Fantastic. All right, let's plate this up. Big, generous spoonful of the salad. And I don't really like to fold through the lamb because I'm serving it quite chunky. I think lamb because it's not as meltingly tender. If you cut it like this, just serve it on the side. For presentation reasons, it looks so much better and easier to eat. Lamb and pumpkin salad with a hint of that hummus down the bottom. That is something I love to cook over and over again, whether it's just for me or for the family or even friends, everyone will love this one. <laughs>